Hi guys, I'm Jason White. This is my channel, Jason's Weird Reads. Thank you for joining me. And this is my second video for Lost Gems, underrated horror. Um, I got a lot of positive feedback on the first one of people saying, yeah, keep it up. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, why not, right? Okay, so this is another top five list and uh, it's underrated horror, at least what I think is underrated horror. And some of these books are, uh, I don't know if they're hated by the author themselves. One of them, the first one is anyway. Uh, well, might be. Uh, I've heard, I think it's in, uh, yeah, let's just get to it. First book I want to mention is Needful Things by Stephen King. Now, I don't think Stephen King hates this book necessarily, but he's pretty hard on it. I think it's in On Writing, his book On Writing, where he's actually pretty critical of this book. He says that it failed in some way, I, I can't remember, but I, I I can't see it. I thoroughly enjoyed this um, this book, and you know, I actually I listened to the audiobook, and it's funny because Stephen King narrates the book himself, and he's a fantastic uh, narrator, and I don't know where or why he would criticize it. I imagine it's, you know, partly because, you know, artists are often the hardest on their own work. Uh, that could be it. I don't know. But I think, you know, in reading the reviews, a lot of uh, readers don't seem to like it either. It, it never makes, like, a top 10, at least not that I've seen, a top 10 Stephen King list or a top 5 Stephen King list. And I think it, it should. It's, it's, it's very much uh, a commentary on basic human uh, behavior <laughs> and how of course it's exaggerated but obviously we can sink to some pretty desperate lows when treating each other the way we do in some cases and I think this book really uh, sort of pulls from that and kind of shows us what we are at least what we can be on the very dark side of, of human nature and uh it's a fantastic examination of, of, you know, the human condition, basically, the dark side of the human condition. Uh, next is uh, Hieroglyphs of Blood and Bone by Michael Griffin. Last year, when I started this channel, I was raving about this. I still I stick by that because it this story takes... Uh, I can't remember the main character's name anymore. But I remember the story quite well. Basically, his wife, uh, the man is like in his 50s or 60s, and his, uh, his wife decides she wants a divorce. And now he's living with a dude who's in his like uh, mid-20s as a roommate. And this guy wants to party all the time. He wants to get the guy, uh, the main character, laid. <laughs> and basically, the main character has uh, stepped from one life that he had for like 40 years, 30, 40 years, and is now living in a completely different life. And uh, one of the things that they do, other than go to the bars, uh, is go fishing. They like to go fishing. And uh, while they're fishing one time, the main character sees a woman by a house, and, and I think they exchange words, not very much, but he thinks about her constantly afterwards and he goes back to find her again and uh, she's not there and neither is, her, is the house that he saw her in. <laughs> and this is confusing and obviously, but it leads him on a journey, an inner journey to uh, figure out what's going on with him and it gets, it really goes in, into the weird, uh, weird fiction after that and things, reality. All of it just crumbles, and what we're left with is the bare bones of, of grief and misery and and hurt. And I loved it. <laughs> uh, okay, next book. Book number three. The Night Cyclist by Stephen Graham Jones. Now, recently I've been doing some tag videos, uh, like mid-year, uh, you know, let's examine what we've read so far. And I've been kind of hard on his book, Mapping the Interior. And The Night Cyclist is a, a novella. I feel kind of bad about that because really the reason why I chose that book, Mapping the Interior, because it was the only one I could think of that, that really rubbed me the wrong way. 
and uh, it seemed like it, it was trying too hard, but the night cyclist is is, is complete opposite. I loved this this novella. It's, uh, it's done by Tor Books. You can get it for like 99 cents, or you can go to Tor.com and read it for free, I believe. And uh, it's a very short, it's maybe 100 pages at the most. And it's just fun. If you've read uh, Stephen King's Night Flyer, it's, it's kind of an, a take on that. Ex instead of uh, the vampire uh, flying airplanes, you have the vampire riding a bicycle at night. And that sounds kind of ridiculous, but so does a vampire flying around in an airplane. Excuse me. <laughs> but, you know, uh, that's just my description of it. You read these stories and you're, you're sort of taken away. The Night Cyclist is no exception. I really, really enjoyed the story. I was completely enthralled. I think I read it in like two sittings and uh, I absolutely loved it. And, you know, overall, Stephen Graham Jones, uh, I think he's rather uh, underhyped as a writer himself. So uh, definitely check out The Night Cyclist. It's a lot of fun. Audrey's Door by Sarah Langan is number four. And this. This story, you know, I would actually list all her books in this if I could, but, you know, part of it, I think, is is her, uh, I wouldn't say her fault, I would say her life and whatever reasons why she stopped writing. Uh, she hasn't written a novel since Audrey's Door, that I'm aware of anyway, and, uh, uh, you know, it doesn't get the praise it deserves. This this is literature that's on, on par with, like, Shirley Jackson and uh, and Caitlin R. Kiernan. This is really good stuff and nobody talks about it ever anywhere. Definitely go read Aud Audrey's Door by Sarah Langan. Last but certainly not least is uh, Keelan Patrick Burke's The Turtle Boy. Now I remember when uh, this book first came out. This is another novella, very quick read. When it first came out, I was uh, part of a Goodreads group, uh, Horror Aficionados, and I, uh, everyone there absolutely gushed about this book at the time, but then some time passed and nobody's talked about it anymore. <laughs> you know, nobody's, you know, been like, oh my god, I just read The Turtle Boy and it's blown me away. Uh, you know, if they talk about Keelan Patrick Burke, it's usually hard candy or something else. I I haven't read Hard Candy yet. I have it, but I haven't read it yet. And uh, I'm sure it's really good. But read The Turtle Boy. It's uh, it's actually kind of weird horror. It's a little bit Lovecraftian. And uh, and it's fantastic. It's a bit of a coming-of-age story. If you liked Boy's Life by Robert R. McCammon, you might enjoy The Turtle Boy. Except I think it's better, honestly. I know, I probably just got myself in some shit with that. <laughs> All right, so that is uh, part two of Lost Gems, Underrated Horror. Thank you for uh, sticking around and watching this video. Keep being creative, and we will catch you in the next bookish video.